Unraveling the phrase, bowing out, in English. Hello, English enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, where we aim to make English learning easy and fun for you. In today's video, we're going to explore a very interesting phrase that you might have heard in conversations, movies, or read in books, bowing out. We'll break down what it means, how you can use it, and give you some examples to clarify its usage. So, let's dive in and add another phrase to your growing English vocabulary. Bowing out is a phrase derived from the gesture of bowing, which is often seen as a sign of respect, acknowledgement, or gratitude. However, when we say someone is bowing out, we are not talking about the physical act of bowing. Instead, this phrase metaphorically refers to withdrawing from a situation, event, or competition, usually in a respectful or polite manner. It implies a voluntary departure and is often used when someone wants to avoid making a fuss or drawing attention to their exit. Now, let's look at how to use bowing out in different contexts. 1. In the context of social events or obligations. 2. After the main course, I was feeling tired, so I considered bowing out early from the dinner party. 3. Regarding competitions or challenges. 4. With her injury getting worse, the tennis star is bowing out of the tournament. 5. When discussing jobs or roles. 6. After 10 years in the industry, he's decided to bow out and pursue something different. 7. And in everyday decisions. 8. I know everyone is excited about the movie, but I'm bowing out. I need some rest. By using bowing out in these ways, you can convey your intention to leave while maintaining a sense of courtesy and thoughtfulness. While bowing out is generally associated with politeness, the reasons behind using this phrase can vary. It could be due to personal preference, discomfort, conflict avoidance, or simply out of necessity. However, the unspoken understanding is that the person bowing out wants to do so with minimal disruption. It's also a phrase that carries a bit of class and dignity, suggesting that the exit is handled with grace rather than abruptness or rudeness. When learning English, it's essential to know not just what to say but what not to say. Here are some common mistakes to avoid with bowing out. Don't overuse it. Reserve the phrase for situations where a formal or respectful tone is appropriate. Don't confuse it with giving up. Bowing out is not the same as quitting due to failure. It's a choice made from a position of control or understanding. Don't use it interchangeably with stepping down. Although similar, stepping down is often used for official positions or jobs, while bowing out can be used in broader contexts. That's a wrap on bowing out. Remember, this phrase is all about exiting gracefully and respectfully. We hope you find the explanation clear and that you're now confident to use bowing out in your conversations. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more English language tips. Until next time, keep practicing and let us know in the comments if there's any particular phrase or topic you'd like us to cover. Happy learning, and goodbye for now.